Welcome to Which Is Better. Today I'm testing painter's tape from $1 for a roll to $9 for a roll. But does price really matter? Let's find out. But first, please subscribe to my channel for more product value videos. When you subscribe, it helps me grow the channel and bring you more videos in the future. As you can see, I have a piece of drywall that has been painted with primer to an orange peel texture and a piece of sheet metal that has been cleaned and ready for paint. I will place strips of the painter's tape on each and then use three methods to apply the paint. I'll spray, brush, and roll on each of the surfaces. I'm starting by applying to the drywall. I number each roll of tape and will set them aside and will determine which had the best result in the end. Trust me, I won't remember which one is which while on the surface. I let the tape sit on the surface undisturbed for an hour to simulate time in a small room or vehicle to apply. Now I'll apply the paint. I use a piece of cardboard to reduce the overspray of the spray paint. I'm putting on a nice thick coat to ensure I can get all the edges of the tape well. I didn't have black paint to apply with a brush or roller, but it won't matter. Remember, this is not about the paint. That may be a future video, but this is about the tape. I put a thick coat of this paint on as well. Notice my brushing technique. Yeah, don't hire me to paint your room. After applying the paint, I let dry for 30 minutes prior to removing the tape. I'm finding that some of the tape actually removes the paper coating from the drywall. I might expect that if the primer was fresh, but I did let cure for more than a week. Now for the metal. Ah, I forgot the house paint was latex. No matter, I can observe the spray paint section and make a fairly informed comparison. So what is the result? Three of the off-brands, the Dollar General and the two types of tool bench hardware, are the ones that pulled off the drywall paper. I tested it again off-camera to double-check that result, and well, the takeaway here is do not use these brands on drywall, or you may be repairing the damage they caused. There is a winner for the drywall. Although it was only slightly better, the green frog tape left a slightly cleaner line than the, any of the others, but just barely. A good alternative on drywall seems to be the Scotch Sharp Lines for trim and baseboards. Both of these perform somewhat better than the others, but they still didn't have a perfectly clean lines on a slightly textured drywall. Now for the metal. A much better result on the metal was also the frog tape. The lines were very sharp compared to the others, but it also was the most expensive of the tapes at $9 for the roll. Yeah, youch. If you need precision for painting on metal or other perfectly smooth surface though, frog tape seems to be the good choice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other comparison videos I have completed. Thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing.